Hi, Sharon Gordon here at the Team Jamaica Bickle uh, press event. 20 years of Team Jamaica Bickle. And I'm standing here with our honoree, the distinguished, the legendary. I, I don't know what else to say. I have to call you that. Name, Dr. Name. Johnson, <laughs> DJ, as many who love him call him, is a legend in his own time. And you're an honoree this evening, and we're so happy to have you with us. How do you feel about being honored tonight? Well, I just told Claire a while ago that I've been honored many times, but this one takes the cake. No, that's <laughs> wonderful that you should say that, and I hope Irwin hears this. I told him just now. Why? Yeah. Why? I got a, a million awards. A lot of people said some kind words. People always like to hear kind words when people speak well of them. And I appreciate that. I, uh, in many cases, people work and their work is not appreciated. To know that so many people appreciate what I did makes me happy. Now, and I feel good about that. Wonderful, and thank you for that. Now, in addition to getting many awards, and you did, you got several. You got a congressional proclamation. You got a citation from the assemblyman, Nick Perry. You got a city council um, citation as well. And I feel like I'm missing one. I th I, you got so many. There was like three more. Yeah. But in addition to that, you did something phenomenal this evening. You launched the Dennis Johnson Foundation. Tell us about that. Okay, um, it started with an idea of wanting to develop people to international standards. And you did that. But the work is not done. Right. Um, you would like to have more of it. And then I have a pet peeve. I want to meet Uncle Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> so the foundation is set up in Jamaica, at UTEC, where you are? Yes. Yes. And so, it, 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 would you say that it is going to be like a, a sister organization to Team Jamaica Bickle? Oh yes, there's no question about that. Because I think we can work together in the future. You said something tonight in regards to young athletes being prepared. And is that one of the core tenets of the Dennis Johnson Foundation to make sure that our athletes are indeed prepared? Yes. In a wholesome way? Of course. The as a matter of fact, the information comes from the states. The, the, the information, most of the information in physical education come out of the states for years. Okay. But what has happened, they don't use the information to develop the relevant task. Mm -hmm. And that's all we have done. We've used the same situation, the same information, the same knowledge and background, and, 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 and apply it to the relevant task, to what you have to do. The thing is not that skyrocket science. It's not, it's not brain surgery. No, right? <laughs> no, the this thing is, is preparing our athletes to do to exactly, exactly what they what need to do. Exactly. Talk to us about your feeling now. When we look at, I mean, you set, you, you set a serious record for us. There is no question about that. But talk to me about your feelings now when you see these younger athletes and how they are developing and how they are applying themselves to the sport. Well, <clears throat> what you may not know mm -hmm. is that the early part of my, uh, of when I arrived back in Jamaica, I used to work for careers. Okay. And one of the things that I did was to spread the gospel of sprinting all around the country. Oh, so that's, that's you did that? Yes. <laughs> and we did some niche marketing for careers. Okay. But in the meantime, we would have, uh, we would have workshops and, and all kind of um, workshops, conferences, and just went to every single school. So in this the was being done at the schools? Yes. Wonderful. So, so what so years every, are we talking about that you were doing this? 1966, 67, 68, 14 years of that. I told you he's a legend. Now, if he was doing this in 66, 67, 68, no wonder we have the likes of Usain Bolt. Yes. No wonder we have the likes of, of Blake, Johan Blake, Ware, and others. We, we have a school mm. at UTEC the Caribbean School of Sports Sciences that I set up. 
What year was that when you set that up? Just so that folks know. About four years ago. Okay. Because they're having our first graduates this year. And is that about what, what degree are they earning? First uh, degree. A uh, first. And they, what they're doing is just the careers that come out of sport, like sports management, mm -hmm. sports facilities Medicine. management, mm -hmm. coaching, mm -hmm. personal training, mm -hmm. these kinds of things. And, and, and so what we're trying to do is to say, be professional, do it right the first time, get the kinds of information you need to, um, to do well. To excel. At this time, we just want to thank you for taking this time to talk with us and to spread the gospel exactly. of sprinting. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Our honoree this evening, the legend himself, Dr. Dennis Johnson, DJ to his friends and loved ones. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Sharon Gordon saying good night.